What's up everyone, Keith here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today is the beginning of the end of my racket journey. Now, I have eight rackets and one of these eight rackets will be my next racket. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a series, so I have not been able to go through this process and do it by myself, I've had some help. So the help that has been given to me has been by a fellow Canadian tennis YouTuber, Tencom Beckett, he's from out west, and he's helped me a lot with this process, so I'm very excited to jump into this with you guys. But first, a little bit on Beckett. Like I said, he is Canadian YouTuber, works on a lot of tennis stuff. He is a racket expert. I don't know if you guys remember, but he used to run and work with the courtside sports uh, tennis channel, and then just in the past year, he's kind of started to move and do his own stuff, and he creates some awesome content there. Really, really knowledgeable about rackets and strings, and has made some other great videos as well. So please definitely check out his channel. That is down below. Please go uh, subscribe to his channel. He is doing some awesome work. So to really get into today's video today, Beckett has helped me with these rackets. So what has Beckett done? What has Tencom done for me? Well, like I said, there's eight rackets here. Six of the eight rackets that I have for you guys were recommended by Beckett himself, Ten Tencom. And a couple of those six are even customized to my own spec that Beckett sent, sent to me. So he customized the rackets sent them to me, I've been playing with them, and now I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about them. And then of course there's the other two rackets that I really wanted to be in this draw as well. So I just mentioned draw. So there's a, gonna be a draw of eight. Today we'll be going through the first round with you guys to see who's a winner and who's a loser and who's moving on to the semifinals of this racket draw. So this is very exciting. Let's jump into it now. I will be able to share the specs of the rackets that Beckett customized here on the screen when I go through them. So, to start it off, the Radical Pro versus the Dunlop FX500 Tour. So, let me grab the Radical Pro here. You guys know that I have used the Radical Pro before and have done a review on it. This was the Radical Pro that Beckett sent to me uh, and customized it. So. The way he customized it was we have some lead in the butt, we have lead under the grip, and of course we have a little bit of weight up here. So I will show you guys what those exact weights are here. The one thing that Beckett was really trying to help me with with all of these rackets that he sent me was recoil weight. So I don't know if you guys are very familiar with that. He has a great video on that as well. So after this video, definitely go check out that and learn about what that means. So. The goal of this and this racket switch, as you guys know, is that I'm really trying to change to a new racket, but not lose the power and the spin and the control that I get from my Extreme Tour, but gain a little extra power and gain some stability. Those are the two things that I'm hoping for here. And with Beckett's customizations and the rack that I've been trying, that is the goal to try and find a new racket. So first we have the Radical Pro. First of all, love this racket. It's been, it's been a real pleasure to play with. The plow through that I'm getting with these customizations is unreal. So these rackets are not playing how they do stock. So I'll just tell you that now. So imagine a Radical, Pl Radical Pro, which is heavily beefed up, heavily. This is coming in at approximately 350, I believe. I just showed the specs there earlier, but it's very beefed up. I strung this with my single confidential. It's awesome, I love it this far. However, it is having a very tough competitor here in the first round, and that is the Dunlop FX500 Tour. Now this is a racket that I've never tried before, never tried Dunlop rackets either, and I was pleasantly surprised, guys. This racket plays quite well. Um, if you're somebody that hits a big, big ball, this is gonna kick and be heavy and hard for your opponent to deal with. It was a fun playlist, sorry, a fun play test, but in the end, this racket was not as good as the Radical Pro was. So the Radical 
Pro moves on to the second round. It came down to this one was just a little bit too hard to maneuver and it was a little too heavy with the customizations. Beckett also customized this one and it came in at a pretty high weight as well. So we got the Radical Pro moving on to the second round from that quarterfinal. Next you guys are going to see that we have the Gravity Pro versus the Extreme Tour Auxetic, which you guys are very familiar with the Extreme Tour on this channel. But first let's talk about the Gravity Pro. Now, you guys know that I did not like the old Gravity Pro, but Beckett did some good customizations to this one well. This is the Auxetic version. I went in with an open mind, but I still don't like the Gravity Pro. <laughs> I do not like the Gravity Pro. I don't know what it is. I just can't seem to really get a great feeling with it. Even with these customizations, getting it beefed up, I just felt like I would swing at the ball and it wouldn't go anywhere. Um, on volleys, like I said before in my old video, I liked it. On return, it was pretty solid, but overall, it was not as good as its opponent in the quarterfinal. And its opponent is the Extreme Tour Exetic. Now, we've talked about this racket plenty of times on the channel, and it's what I'm used to. It's just the updated version of my current racket, which is the Extreme Tour 360. So, what did I think about this one? Well, you guys know what I think about this one because I did a review on it back uh, last year, but I'll run through it with you guys. It plays very, very similar to the 360 Extreme. Just feels a little bit more muted in my opinion. I liked how it felt on my forehand and on serve. It had some good pop. Overall, just very, very solid racket and it does beat out the gravity. So that means the Head Extreme Tour Exetic will be moving into the semi finals. So now you guys can see that we have a radical and a extreme tour in the semifinals, but we will leave that for a future video. Now we're going to get to the bottom half of the draw. Now this is where some things get interesting as well. We have a very, very popular E-Zone 98. Now this is another racket that oh. I had not tried the new version of, but did try the old version of and was not a huge fan, could see how it worked for many people, but overall just wasn't my kind of racket. And the problem with this racket with me, even the new one, was that I felt that it was still too powerful. Like it was more powerful than my extreme and I wasn't wanting that much power. I want controllable power. And this was still a little too much. Um, great racket overall though. One thing that I'll get into, hopefully I can do a, a full review on this is that I felt like they did a much better job with the stability uh, in this new one. I felt like, uh, considering it is stock form this one, that I did not have to really put much weight on it, which is great. So just to run through it with you guys again, Beckett did customize the Gravity, the Two Radicals, and the Dunlop. The other ones are not customized. So the E-Zone had a very tough opponent in the first round. And that racket is the Selenko Whiteout 1820 Extended. This racket is a beast. I love this racket. Gonna tell you guys right off the bat, it does beat out the E-Zone right out, right out of the gate. It does everything better than the E-Zone. I love the feel of the extended racket. Gives you a lot of free power. This is something that I'm looking for and hopefully um, gonna do a little bit more testing on it and we'll get back to you guys. Um, this is just so solid guys, not customized at all. The 40T Carbon in this does a great job. We've talked about this in the old whiteout, but this is an excellent, excellent frame and does everything well in what I'm looking for. So it's an easy win for the Selenko whiteout. Full review on this coming soon. So we got the Selenko whiteout moving into the semifinals. And last, but certainly not least, we have our last uh, quarterfinal matchup, and that is between the Pro Staff and the Radical MP. But first, on the Pro Staff, beautiful, beautiful, cosmetically looking racket. Um, I can tell you that if you are somebody that's got a one-handed backhand, excellent frame, excellent frame. And on touch and feel shots, this does do the trick. This was one of the rackets that was not customized, and I really enjoyed it still. Um, 
The only knock I would have is just I just didn't feel it on my backhand, but on my forehand felt excellent. Slice backhands, excellent. Serve, pinpoint precision. And you can't really go wrong with that. But it did have a tough, tough, tough opponent. And that is this racket, the Head Radical MP. This racket was also customized, heavily customized by Beckett. And I really did enjoy this one well. So it was very hard to pick between these two. But I got to go with the Pro Staff. Now, the one issue with the customizations with this racket, one thing like I said earlier, when these, cu these customizations to these rackets make them not play like they do stock form. So one thing I felt like with the old MP I didn't like is the launch angle was a little too low and I didn't quite feel like it was able to do the switch for me. But with these customizations, I didn't have a problem with any of the things I did when I reviewed this racket but it was actually flying on me, believe it or not. So customizations go a long, long way. And I felt like I was able to kind of keep uh, the ball in the court a little bit more with this pro staff. And you cannot go wrong with this cosmetic, guys. I mean, come on, looking beautiful. So moving on to the semifinals is the pro staff. So that is it for today's video. Before we jump into some more stuff here to wrap it up, what racket do you guys think is going to reach the finals? And what racket do you guys think I'm gonna choose? This is super exciting. Beckett has done some magic work to some of these rackets. Also, do not forget to look at his channel. He's doing some great stuff over there. Looking forward to continuing this series with you guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Exciting stuff coming. And we'll catch you guys in the next video with the semifinals.